First, we're moving you forward as masks are finally coming off in Santa Clara County, the last California county that had that mandate in place. Yeah, the public health director says that because the country's COVID met metrics the way they are, masks are now recommended, not required. Today in the Bay, it's Chris Sanchez. She's joining us live from Sunnyvale, where workouts might seem a little bit easier for a few people on the treadmill this morning, Chris. Uh, well, I don't know how many weights you're going to put on, but I will say that breathing might be a little bit easier because the mask mandate is now over here in Santa Clara County. And these folks here at UFC gym in Sunnyvale, they've been huffing and puffing through their workouts for a long time now. Today, they can breathe just a little bit easier. Now, effective today, as you said, Santa Clara County will align with the state and the CDC recommending masks indoors, but not requiring them. That is for everyone, not just for vaccinated people. And that's because the county met its three masking metrics, including a vaccination rate of at least 80% among eligible people, seven straight days of 550 cases or fewer, and stable hospitalization levels. The gym owner says folks seem ready. We've had a lot of questions the last few days asking, you know, when's that happening? What's, um, what can we do for that? And so we're very excited to say, come in, get your workout in, take your mask off, you feel ready to do that. Now, she said they are going to support people if they want to leave their masks on. That's okay, too. But I did do some unscientific polling on Twitter. People are about split on unmasking. On Instagram, the majority of people say they are ready to take them off. You can still weigh in in that conversation on Facebook and also there. Now, the state will require masking for at least two more weeks in K-12 through schools and child care facilities, in health care settings, on public transportation, homeless shelters, and correctional institutions, and a UCSF infectious disease expert says you want to keep those masks handy in case you find yourself in a setting that feels a little bit risky. Now remember, private businesses can set their own rules so they can still require masking if they want. In fact, I got a little communication from my old gym saying that they were still going to require proof of vaccination. So you'll still have to check where you're going. But otherwise, the main rule, the overlying uh, rule of the land is that you don't have to mask up indoors if you don't want to.